All right, we're talking about the dashboard on a Saab 9.3 Aero. Uh, the one thing that I can say really great about this user interface is this one thing. If you notice, I've got both FM and AM stations programmed in the same line of buttons, so I don't have to change from AM to FM. I go from 640 AM to 104.1 FM with one button, and Skinner is playing. The only problem, of course, is that no matter what, on 104.1, Skinner is playing. Um, that is not Skinner. Okay. <clears throat> what I really want to call your attention to, though, is these four buttons. The first button is a gauge with a plus and a minus sign. And if I hit the plus side of it, it goes for a while and then there's a little beep. If I hit the minus side, it goes for a while and then a little beep. Now I know now from fiddling with it for a while that what's happening here is that the gauges are slightly dimming and slightly brightening depending on whether I'm hitting plus or minus. But so little that you'd have to do it 10 times to really understand what's going on. I see no practical value in it. The second button is night panel and I'm sure I'll get comments about this but night panel is like crazy driving because all it really does is shuts off all your gauges except for the speedometer. Um, I guess if you're trying to catch a nap or something and the gauges are keeping you up, night panels for you but I don't see any practical value to that either. The third button is the craziest button in the car and that's this long M dash button. Fully functional, like has some resistance to it, feels like you're doing something, yet there is absolutely no function whatsoever associated with this button. Unless I'm turning like the lights on or off in a car behind me or in front of me, I can't see what's, what this is about. Here it is, it's on, no difference, it's off, no difference. The fourth button is like a, I don't know, it looks like it might be traction control or it uh, looks like a car hydroplaning. And uh, again, I hit this button, no difference. I hit the button, no difference. This doesn't light up. It doesn't have any indication of what it's for. It just a, um, apparently has a function given that it's at this icon, which I don't understand because it's not in the owner's manual but nothing is happening. It doesn't feel any different. Maybe it's a braking control. I wouldn't know because I have no idea what the function is.